Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are already started this Angular 17 new course, right? We have already completed one video. Now after a long time, we are reinitiating after the chat GPT course. So we have, we had a brief introduction about the Angular 17. So this course, this Angular 17 course will be a little bit different. So we will be approaching in a little bit different way. So if you want to learn more about the basics and all those things means we have already Angular complete tutorial. You can watch that one. Here I will be assuming that you have a basic knowledge in Angular. So I'll be completing a little bit faster. So and also the new features I'll be explaining you in this one. So fine, let's move on to this one. So in order to install, first we'll start with a basic application. In order to have, in order to install a Angular application or in, in order to create a new Angular application, 17 application. So what we need to have is the first one is the, we need to have a Node.js install in your operating system. So for Node.js, you know that Node.js, if you type here, you will be able to see in the home page. So this is the current version or this is the recommended for the most users it is running. So you need to install this one. After installing, you can go to the command prompt and here you can write node hyphen hyphen version. Then you will be having the node version that is installed. So right now at the time of this recording, I am having 18. Okay, there are, uh, there you are having 20 also. So it's not a problem. So NVM list, if you try to see here, oh sorry. So you can also have a node version manager NVM list. So I am having 18.16.0. So if you want to install, so you can install it NVM hyphen hyphen help now here you will be able to see so we need to install it right so here nvm current or uh, here lts is there right nvm install lts so we can write it something like nvm install lts now it will install the latest one something like 20.11.0 right now it is running 20.11.0 right so it is installing in my system 20.11.0 so this depends so any version you can run it. So now I am installing, I am downloading the Node.js version 20.11.0. After successfully installing this one, I will get back to you. Now it has been successfully installed. So it is telling that NVM use 20.11.0. Now if you try to see node hyphen hyphen version, still it will be in the 18 only. So if you want to use it, so we need to use NVM use 20.11.0. Now here access is denied. So why? Because we need to open the command prompt in an administrator mode. So let me open this one in an administrator mode and I will come back to you. So now I have opened this one and I have used this node version. So right now my node version is version 20.11.0. So now we have successfully installed our node node up, node thing. Now it's time for us to install the Angular CLI. So for any time whenever, whenever you want to create a new application in the Angular means we need to have an Angular CLI installed in your operating system uh, in your system. So now what we need to do is so we need to install the Angular CLI. So for this one, what we need to do is npm install hyphen g hyphen g means globally at the rate angular slash CLI at the rate latest. So it will install the latest one. So now let's install this angular CLI latest one. So it will take some time to install depending on the internet connection. So you will be uh, you, you will be installing. So it will take some time for me. Let it take. So angular CLI is also installed. So I am checking the version ng hyphen hyphen version. So in order to check that whether angular CLI installed or not. So you need to check the version with ng hyphen hyphen version. So now it will give you the current version which the Angular CLI has been installed. And now if you, you know, let's see. So it is telling that uh, it's wrong. So we need, we should not use the hyphen hyphen. We should just use this ng version. So now it will give you the version name. Now here it has been installed 17.0.10. So now we have successfully installed this Angular CLI. So if you are not able to get this one means, so maybe something wrong is there. So you can check uh, in the Google or anything. So what is the wrong? So right now the Angular CLI is 17 and the Node.js is 20.11.0. Fine. So now it's time for us to create a project. For creating a project, what is the command we need to use is everybody knows. So ng new Angular basics. So I am creating a new one, something like Angular basics. So let's try to press enter. So now we are creating a new Angular application. It will install with an Angular version of 17.0.0. So now it will ask you some series of questions. So what is the type of CSS you want? So I will take the CSS only. And you want to have the server side rendering? No. So we'll discuss about the server side rendering and all those things also. So it is creating an application. So let it create. So it is installing all the packages and all those things which are is uh, important for this one. So let it install. So now it has been successfully installed. Let's go to the project. So that is nothing but the Angular 
angular basics and now you can type the command ng serve hyphen hyphen open now you will be able to see the project will be opening in localhost something like that hyphen hyphen open means directly the localhost url will be opened in the browser so it is uh, compiling the entire thing so let it uh, and compile here you will be able to see it is building the application so now we are able to see that localhost localhost 4200 has been opened and if you open here so it the new tab has been opened in the browser in the chrome browser and now it is opening so the the default browser whichever you have selected it will open this one now this is the basic thing so this is our angular 17 new app so now we have successfully launched the angular app now in order to open this project so you can go to the visual studio code okay so this is our visual studio code and here this is our angular basics i have already opened this one or otherwise you can go here and click on the open folder and you can select that folder which you have created recently now this is our project so now if you try to see these are all the folder structures and all those things we have seen it and in the package.json so this is our package.json file sorry not json so this is our package.json so here we are having angular core 17.0.0 angular forms everything is in 17.0.0 only so this is the for this for this whole entire thing for development I, I will be using the visual studio code and if you want to have any changes or anything means please let me know in the comments so i will try to change those all the uh, settings and all the things if you are not able to see the font or anything means let me know and uh, tsconfig.json so this is our typescript configuration okay so now package.json is there and angular.json also we are able to see we will try to learn one by one all the things basically and the root project is the here this one so here where we will be working most of the time in this folder structure only and node modules these are all the packages whatever the packages are there so these are all installed in the node modules and vs code this is our uh, editor based thing angular is also the editor based thing and here this this app will be creating all the components and all those things and here roots.es uh, config.es these all things also we'll discuss and assets means where we will be keeping these all the static files and all those things that's it guys about this concept so what i will try to do is i have, I have also created a github repository so for this one so whatever the github repository whatever the thing i will be discussing uh, whatever the thing so i'll be doing so i'll be committing this code in our github.com that is nothing but angular 17 iphone course maybe i have created it i think slash learner angular 17 iphone course so this is our main uh, github repository so here this is our code right so i will commit this entire code okay so it is initializing and everything so i will commit this entire code in this one so if you want to refer this code or anything means you can go and refer that code so that's it guys about the basic thing so in the next video what we will try to do is we will learn about the components how to create the components in angular 17 using the standalone and all those things how we can do it and different types of uh, different types how we can create the components different ways like selectors and all those things we will try to see it in the next video so hope you understood about this project creation in Angular 17. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.